far worse than I had envisioned. Rooftops are gone. Trees sticking up like toothpicks. It's rough. But we're gonna need some help. And so I came out to just thank you and to ask for help. You know, you, if you don't ask, sometimes you don't get because you don't ask. And so we want to just thank you and ask you for the support that we need. But we're going to work with you. And when I get back to Montgomery this afternoon, I hope I can make contact with the president and encourage him to expedite the uh, state of emergency order. That would be much appreciated. Thank you so very much. Roof damage and tree damage here. But as you go east, it started on, on, the, on, on this west side of, of, of our county and it continued all the way over through uh, through the county and did a tremendous amount of damage at the jail, which is on the far side of Dallas County. Uh, and But the further you go east, we have complete neighborhoods that have been devastated. Well, a glimpse was very revealing. It's far worse than anything I had envisioned or seen on television. Roofs are just gone. And trees look like toothpicks. And uh, there's a lot of work to be done here. And I know we're going to pull together and get this done. We've already applied state resources here. When I get back to Montgomery this afternoon, I'm going to make a call and try to talk to the president to encourage him to expedite the state of emergency. And it should us help to have Senator Britt and Congresswoman Sewell from our federal delegation here to see this firsthand as well. And, support that effort. Having weathered a storm myself, I know that this community has um, tremendous challenges ahead of them. We are so grateful that there was no loss of life, but we know livelihoods were destroyed yesterday. And that means that we have to work together to make sure people get back on their feet and make sure that there is a pathway forward um, where these people have opportunity and, and we will do that together and so um thank you for what y'all are doing here and thank you to the brave men and women law enforcement the mayor mentioned it other municipalities stepping up and saying what can we do to the line men and women who have put themselves in harm's way we thank you and to the community who is affected by this know that we stand with you today tomorrow and for as long as it takes to make you whole of course, this is very personal to me. This is my beloved hometown of Selma. Um, we're Selma strong. Um, I know that not only will neighbors help neighbors, but I also know uh, that the city that brought us the Voting Rights Act, and we're resilient people, and we will get through this. I want to thank the governor. I want to thank Senator Britt um, for being here. I obviously stand with my mayor and my city council and county and saying thank you to all those who have helped. We'll continue to need your prayers, but know that we are working together as a state, uh, as a nation, um, to help restore Selma. And the goal is to make it come back better than before. So we're, we're gonna build back and we're gonna build back better. What happens to some of the residents who've lost their homes and can't afford to go other places? Is there any plan in place for where they could go or what they could do, especially if they're lower income? Right now, the, um, the Red Cross has offered shelter at my old high school, Selma High School, uh, and we're very grateful for them to do that. And people have been volunteering to bring foods and supplies. So if there's anyone who is displaced and has nowhere to go, please go to Selma High School. And we're very grateful to the Red Cross for providing such, such an opportunity. In addition, in addition uh, nonprofits and faith-based organizations provided resources to put people up in hotels. Uh, and so we, we, I think last night, no one slept on the ground yes. in Selma. Uh, and so we, we'll continue that process to make sure that everyone is taken care of until we can get through this together. Well, you just look around at all the folks that are helping neighbors get things picked up and patched up just right here. Uh, it's just a typical, typical of the values that we Alabamians have, that we just flat help everybody when we can. When, when they need help, we want them. Everybody wants to help, and that's a good thing. Right now, we need to stay out of the way of utility trucks and first responders so they can get in and get their jobs done. But there are ways to volunteer and step up and help if you want to. And you can dial 211 and um, volunteer, and they'll put you in a, a good volunteer spot.